Hey guys, Maxwell here, and welcome back to Let's Play Five Days of Stranger. So I finally figured out what was wrong with Salty Bear. You are supposed to look at him. Oops. Yes. Look at Salty Bear. It's pointing straight down. When it does that, you are going to want to go right here. Use the area. Oh god. Matthew DeVoe, I presume. Did Sir Roderick keep him down here? No. He can't have done. There'd have been mention of it in one of the books I read. So... Hold on. I don't think that's Matthew's hand. Two bodies! There's another corpse down here. Looks like the body of a much older man. You know, I have a feeling this is Sir Roderick. Judging by the ribs, he was killed by a large stabbing weapon. But by whom? Smash! What was that? I don't know, Trilby. Sounded like it came from the other side of the house. Probably the trophy room. My god. Things are just unraveling here. Everything we've known is a lie. Just like the cake. Phil, did you hear that? Phil had to have heard that. Hello, Philip. Leave me alone, cat burglar. Uh, I guess he didn't. Whatever, Phil. I don't want to, you know, fill you in on things anyway. Keep on walking to the trophy room. TV again. Trilby doesn't care for TV. Huh. Looks like the idol fell over. This really is a horrendously ugly little wooden idol. Hang on. What are these little stains? Day four. Oh, but... What? Phil, why is Trilby dressed as the welder? Simone? What? Father, why? What the hell is going on? Oh, God, my head. What, what the hell happened last night? I remember. Oh, God, Philip. Did I kill Philip? I don't remember anything. Last thing I remember is putting my hand on... That idol! I've got to warn the others. Let's try the door. It's locked. God knows where they found the key. Huh. So I guess we killed Philip. Well, I can't say he didn't have it coming. He was kind of a jackass. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Quiet. Simone? Is that you? Yes, I'm keeping guard. Why? Shut up! You killed Philip! Don't even try to deny it. I did? Don't play games with me. I'm keeping guard here until the police get into the grounds. Then I'm handing, handing you over. Well, you and I both know the police won't get here, Simone. Simone, what do you want now? Hmm... What makes you think I killed Philip? Oh, well, let me see. First, Jim and I are attacked by some huge guy in a wield welding mask and apron with a machete, but manage to get away. Then we come into the kitchen and find a huge guy in a welding mask and apron unconscious next to Philip's corpse. And when we took the mask off, lo and behold, it's you. Look, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well then, let's hear your version. I was possessed by a ghost. Oh, now that impresses me. Did you think of that all by yourself? It's the truth, I swear. Shut up. Just shut up. It possessed me just like it did when I killed AJ. We admit we killed AJ. 
What are you talking about now? The ghost. It talks to me late at night when no one else can hear. Trying to make me do things. Evil things. Shut up! It never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have blackouts. I'll wake up with blood all over me in an unfamiliar place. It's happened so many times now I can't count them. Shut up! Kill AJ, kill Philip, kill everyone. It wouldn't leave me alone. I'm warning you. I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see the face of every poor innocent I've killed every time I close my eyes. Most evenings I cry so hard I vomit. Several times. Sometimes I just want this nightmare to end. If death came right now, I'd welcome it. Oh, God. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie? Please? Oh, to hell with it. Have it, you psycho. We got our tie back! Yay! Truly needs his tie. I'll just slip it on. And here's my emergency lockpick. Ha <laughs> ha! See, this demonstrates the importance of forethought. Well, thank you. Truly. Let's use this lockpick. On the door. There we go. Unlocked. Let's head through the door, Trilby. Where's Simone got to now? Got to get her and Jim to believe me about the idol. Hmm. Ha-ha! That's what you get, Philip. That's what you get for being such a douche. Whoa! Look at the painting now! It's a portrait of a skeleton in a blood-stained safari suit. The plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. Now that's freaky. Alright, to find Simone. No, Trilby, not the wall, the door. There you go. Hmm. Maybe she went in the bathroom. This isn't the bathroom. This is the bathroom. That wasn't the bathroom either. Silly me. This must be the bathroom. Duh! No one in here either. Where the hell is everyone? Trilby! Simone, before you say anything. I know you didn't really kill Philip or AJ. You do? I figured you were lying to get me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer! The guy in the wielding mask. I spotted him downstairs, but he didn't see me. And I can't find Jim anywhere. Oh god, not Jim too. Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost. Oh, shut up about your ghost. This isn't a ghost, it's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Oh god. Speak of the devil. Eee! Do something! Oh god, what do we do? What do we do? Da ha! Cartoon antics. Oh my god, Jim? Day five. How is he? He's awake. He's fine. Doesn't remember anything, just like I didn't. Look, I only sort of half believe this possession thing right now. But in the absence of a better suggestion, I guess I'm going along with it. Have you been going over those books I was carrying? Yeah, and some text on the occult. Apparently, if we want to destroy this thing, we have to get the spirit back into its old body. That'll make it quasi-mortal. It'd still be dangerous, but not unkillable. We have to find the body first. And to do that, we have to know who the ghost is. I've been thinking about this, and I have a fairly workable theory. Yes, I have a couple of ideas about it myself. Right, well, the ghost is something to do with the disappearance of Roderick and Matthew Defoe, right? The deaths and disappearance all started after that. Agreed. So what do you think? I think we'll find out next time, guys. So next time on Five Days of Stranger, we'll figure out Trilby's 
theories on things. Until then, guys, I'm Axel. See you later.